Hey, look at YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a music update. Basically, my CDs and vinyl that I picked up over the last couple of weeks here. I've been really uh, going through my physical media, I guess, DVDs, Blu-rays. Uh, now I'm going, to, I'm going through my CDs and stuff like that, and vinyl, and just just tearing it up, you know, revisiting a lot of stuff, stuff I might not want to keep anymore, you know, just cleaning house a little bit. <laughs> but as a, as you know, a collector, we all have that certain thing we do, get rid of a couple of things and got to replace it with some other stuff. So this is my haul over the past couple of weeks. I actually ended up picking up this yesterday. It's uh. Nirvana Smell Like Teen Spirit, the um, CD Maxi uh, single. Get a closer look at that. I do pick up stuff that I like, bands that I like. I'll pick up their singles. I try to get everything that was released. Uh, I know I can't get it all, but if I see it cheap enough, I always pick it up. I ended up paying like $5 for this. And there's the track listing Smells Like Teen Spirit. Of course, number, <laughs> even in his youth and aneurysm. And I liked all these songs on here. Of course, I like Teen Spirit, but there's the inside. <laughs> Dave Grohl, man. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this, you know, Nevermind was one of the first records I, or CDs I've ever bought when I first started working. And I, that was. I think it was the number three CD I bought, or no, it was number two. I bought um, first week. My first week working was uh, GNR's Appetite. I picked up Nevermind. Then uh, my third CD was uh, White Zombie, The Sex Are Seath Duel. <laughs> so yeah, that's the. Those are the first three CDs I bought with my own money. I didn't have a CD player till you know well after Nevermind came out. I think I was like, I got my first job, I think, 94. So, yeah, that was when uh, I picked that up. I never really owned a copy of this. It's a uh, Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine. I have, um, I had it on cassette. I didn't have it on, I don't have the cassette anymore. <laughs> I do have a CDR of it. Uh, somebody made me a copy back in the uh, 2000s. I hate CDRs. I don't. I think I have them somewhere. But I never listen to them. They're garbage. <laughs> Should have been, you know, buying stuff from a local shop. But at that time, I just didn't. Uh, didn't really have the money at the time. So we'll open this up. And see what's inside. Yeah, I love the first, I mean, the first three songs on this album are just insane. they good. I mean, I enjoy the whole album, but those are, yeah, if I had to pick my first, <laughs> first favorites, yeah, my favorite three songs, probably be one, three, and then two, so. You can see it's down and it's number three, but I'd switch those with my favorite songs. See that right there. I do own all the other Nine Inch Nails stuff, which is crazy because this is probably one of my favorite albums. I'm a little difficulty here. There we go. Let's see if you can see what it's like inside. course yeah at least we have uh <laughs> lyrics which are sadly missing a lot today i mean you could, of course you can look them up on you know just google and see what the lyrics are but it's just it's nothing like it. i mean, in your own copy of something um you know of course there's stickers and stuff on it I, that's how much i paid for it i paid uh three dollars
Next up, I already own this album, but I have the Digi Pack, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a CD that's in sort of like a vinyl album cover, I guess would be. Uh, it's Danzing 4. Picked it up at half price books. I think I paid, what did I pay for that? I gotta get these stickers out of here. I'm gonna do a, a video how I get rid of stickers pretty soon here. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love this album. Uh, I'll talk about that some other time, never mind. <laughs> uh, if I had to pick three favorite songs on here, uh, I had to pick number four, Going Down to Die, like three, Can't Speak, and if I had to pick another one, that's so tough picking another one. I'll go number three right now. These are all subject to change, of course. Yeah, that's what the inside looks like. One of my favorite uh, inserts. This picture right here. <laughs> looks like Bill Clinton uh, <laughs> congratulating the, uh, the FBI, taking out our four heroes there. <laughs> That's an awesome picture. Of course, the uh, CD there. But yeah, I'm I'm just like super happy, man. These, I mean, that's like there's nothing. There's not even anything wrong with that CD. And I ended up picking up for I think it was six dollars. With dancing stuff, I do. <laughs> it doesn't look too great on the black background, <laughs> but I do. Uh, pick up different versions of albums and stuff like that, uh, different covers. Uh, it's one of the few bands I try to collect everything that I can. If I find it out in the wild, I don't special order it. Once in a while, I'll, I complete the um, How the Gods Kill uh, Dancing 3, the, um, the collector set. And I ended up uh, buying the CD online just to get it because it was a real cheap price too. And that's the only reason I bought it that way. Of course, as it promised, I did pick up vinyl. I picked this up at a local record shop. I paid uh, 18 for it. Can't even get it in the whole screen here, but yeah, I try to support local shops as much as possible. You can see it's black vinyl, so yeah. Let's just take a look at a little bit on the inserts here. And on the back, you got the lyrics. There we go. I'm gonna do it real slow. I know folks like to read this shit. There we go. Yeah, I only buy, I could, you know, I could easily go on Amazon or something like that and uh, pick them all up at the same time. But I've been trying to pick up uh, the Misfits, all the uh, reissues. Uh, the originals are way too expensive. I'm not even trying. Um, but definitely uh, getting all the reissues. I buy one here or there because I don't like, you know, it's one of the deals. If I buy all of them at the same time, you know, it just takes away the the, uh, the appeal of listening to it. Uh, if I have a stack of records, it's like, yeah, or a stack of CDs or something like that. That's why I only buy them one or two at a time, though. Uh, yeah, I can go right on Amazon and have everything shipped to my house, but it's one of the deals, like, I'd rather just buy one, enjoy it for a while, and so I'm like, you know, done listening to that for a little bit, go on to the next one, pick up another one. And I think I only need them. Um, Two Misfits reissues, and I have all their things that they re-released. Re I think I need um, Evil Live and uh, Legacy. That's the only ones I really need. And they're on Amazon all the time. Uh, I guess I should uh, stick with the theme of picking my favorite three songs on these albums. Let's see. Oh, this is real tough, man. Of course, I'm going Skulls number one. I didn't even show the back, did I? There you go. There, more like that. There you go. Got Doyle, Glenn, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I'll go uh, Skulls 1. Mm. Again, this is how I feel right this second. Um, 
I'll go mommy and I'll go three I turned into a Martian. We'll get, those will be the three I picked right now. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite three on here? Listen down below. And lastly, this was the big buy for me. It was only ten dollars. Uh checked on eBay and stuff like that. I got I think I got a decent deal. It ranges anywhere from ten dollars to twenty five dollars on a good day. But it's uh Elvis, the king of rock and roll, the complete fifties masters. It's five compact discs. So we're gonna unbox this baby right now. So it comes with the stamps here. And I'm a huge Elvis fan. Yeah, I was jamming. I, as soon as I, I picked this up at a second hand store. That's the reason why I got it for so cheap. It's, it was like, it was it had a twenty dollar price tag, and it it was a half off day, and I ended up getting it for ten bucks. This little flyer here. Whoop. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, there's nobody toward an Elvis, man. But then it's a little booklet. Different, like, some of them sun recording stuff. Just, there's so much stuff in here. I didn't even get a chance to even look through this. Some of the, the original U.S. singles, man. Look at that. Let's see. There we go. This is the one I want to get on vinyl right there, if I can find it. And there's another Elvis I want to get, uh, where it's the, um, the comeback special. I'm more of a El 68 uh, to, you know, to his death Elvis fan, but I do love the 50s stuff that he did, and, you know, early 60s and all that fun stuff. I'll just show you each of the CDs. Yeah, man, that's, look at that, there's like, this dude must, he just must have sat in a recording studio all the time, man. There's like 30 songs on each of these. <laughs> this one has 26 songs, man. G.I. Elvis. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to listen to all these yet. I was listening to... Um, I'll show you which one I was listening to. Man, that's a badass right there. Signing all those autographs, man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy to have this in my collection. I think I was listening to... Let's see. Yeah, I was listening to this one the other day. Or on the way home. I actually picked this up yesterday. Yeah. Try Christmas songs, I know, yeah, but Blue Christmas, Elvis' version is, is the version. Alright, so this has been my vinyl, CD, box set, update. Uh, I'm going to have a lot more of this stuff. I'm debating whether to have put it on my other channel, but to start doing um, yeah, music stuff for the... Because my plan is, let me know what you guys think, but I'm going to start... Uh, I figure I'm, it takes me like 20, 25 minutes to drive to work, back home to work, 25 minutes. I was thinking about taking like five albums a week and just going through them, listening to them. Uh, I'm not talking about, you know, ACDC, Back in Black. I already know that all I've ever seen, but I'm talking about the other albums I haven't listened to in years. And just, you know, seeing if I want to still keep them for my collection. Uh, yeah, just talk about them a little bit. So that's probably going to be my update. Uh, I'm going to try to do 10 of those in a row here uh, before I even start uploading them. But let me know what you guys think. Should I just keep it on this channel or should I put it on my other channel? My other channel is nothing big. I only have one subscriber and it's my PG zombie. <laughs> but I know you. This is more my comic channel. Even though it, you know, in the title it does say, you know, comics, music, toys, and stuff like that. But thanks for watching if you made this for, and I appreciate it you watching and uh check out my instagram i'll leave a link down below and i'll talk to you next time thank you thank you very much